Hey, what is going on guys? It's Dallas Project here and welcome to the Soviet Russia Let's Play. Now, this is going to be a hell of a lot more interesting because we have gained stability. We're going back. We lost all of those national spirits. I don't like this guy though. So, first of all, we are choosing who are we going to elect. We have elect Frunze's autonomists, elect Bukharin's federalists, elect Tukhachevsky's internationalists. Again, to tell you, autonomists are actually not... Okay, so you see, here it says elect Frunze's autonomists. Autonomists here are actually led by Nikolai Bukharin. Uh, these are the autonomists. The federalists and the internationalists are led by Mikhail Tukhachevsky. Now, from all these lines, I like the Frunze one more, the most. Established the autonomies gives you 300 political power, Russian education, Frunze is genius, new Russian culture. The, these guys are mainly about just military, which we have plenty of, and this is like uh, political influence of the other countries. So we're going to go with Frunze's autonomists, and we're going to improve our guns. Did, this, did our industry go back? No, our industry is saved. Good. So let's go for radios. All right. The further internationality, France International. France has gone through with its design to hold the first congress of third international, and we, as expected, have received an invitation. It would be foolish not to send a delegation. Yeah, we will send a delegation because soon I think we will actually join their faction. The nineteen thirty seven Spartakiade, the first Spartakiade opening ceremony was held in London and attended by dignitaries and athletes from around the socialist world. The British team carried the torch, the French team the hammer, and the other teams carried the pieces of the cog of the location where they were assembled. When placed together, they formed an international symbol of syndicalism. Nice. The first task of the new Soviet government is to organize a military force. We never know where enemies we may face, what enemies we may face. Should we create a people's army of militias, encourage professional officers to switch their loyalties or uh, to the Soviets, or force a total militarization of society in the regimes we control in the region? I'm gonna go for uh, Maxim Romanov, which is spread propaganda and have a professional army. American Civil War. America has dissolved into civil war and we must help our socialist brothers in the CSA. And they're deadly. Uh, CSA, don't be fooled by that. This is the syndicalists, combined syndicalists, not the, not the South. Uh, but yeah, we, in their deadly struggle with the capitalist oppressor, oppressors, we're gonna send them. Though I think that it's kind of too late. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, it's not Confederate States of America. It's actually it's combined syndicalists. Don't worry. I'm not supporting the KKK people. Um, so, yeah, we have a prof slightly more professional army. They are actually equipped, which is neat. Now we need to build our rifles all over again. So I'm telling you, the revolution is the best thing that could have happened to us because we went out of the crisis. Ooh, Menshevik Georgia desires an alliance. Georgia. Mm. I don't want that. I'm sorry, but I don't want that. There's no point in getting you. I'll I'll just munch you up later, and I don't want to make an alliance with you because I want to join the French alliance instead. So no, Georgia, I'm sorry, but at this current position, you're going to get munched up by me soon enough. So yeah, no alliance. No, no thank you. Let's just see. We have... Don't want cavalry. Actually, I'm gonna exchange cavalry into Bukotnaya division. Uh, these guys as well. These are all Bukotnaya. I should probably form an army right about now because it's time. That's 15 divisions. We're gonna go for Don Cubans first because this is where the oil fields are, I believe. Oh no, the main oil fields are in Azerbaijan. Nobody's gonna even defend them, so I, it's it's okay. Uh, we need more army, though. We need more forces. We only have 15 divisions. So, yeah, so far, so good. We're going for Frunze's autonomous, and you're going to see, you're going to love this guy. You're going to love Frunze. He looks so good. Outcome of the Spartakiade. We have taken many gold medals in the events, making us the clear victor of the Spartakiade. Ooh, GG. 
it's going to increase the national unity a bit. So who can we use as a commander here? Uh, well, Tukhachevsky lost commands. So we're going to give him the command, actually. So he lost uh, the actual leadership. But, oh, well. Too bad it ended. Yeah, indeed. So yeah, soon we're going to go and attack the Don down there. After that, we're going to take Alash Orda. I don't know if we're going to expand into... Okay, Frunze declares victory. Standing high on a pile of destroyed reactionary monuments in the recently reclaimed Red Square, Mikhail Frunze announces his victory to his supporters in the first Soviet elections. With Soviet power, Russia will no longer be punching back on the world. So yeah, autonomists win or... Yeah, lo lo look, I mean... How can you not like this guy? His face screams evil, great dictator. We're going to go establish the uh, autonomies to get our stabilization back. Very high party popularity. That's great. That's great. That's just bloody amazing. That gives us what? One, one, okay, one political power. That's great. So yeah, Frenze took command. That's amazing. Status of the Orthodox Church. Now that Soviet power has been established in Russia, we must decide our stance towards the powerful Orthodox Church. The Church itself is still very important to the masses, yet part of our doctrine insists that we have to destroy our or significantly weaken the religious organization. What shall we do? No. State atheism now. I'm going to leave the Church alone and have a secular state. That's, that's I think, how it should have been done instead of having uh, forced atheism onto people. I think that secular governments are the best governments, and that's what I firmly believe. Yeah, these guys should exercise a bit. So the French are in an alliance with the British and the Italians. These guys are syndicalists, like proper syndicalists. These guys are also proper syndicalists. Ooh, who are you, pretty dame? Annie Kenny. That's a nice name. She's a radical socialist. Oh, combined states of America. Combined syndicates of America are not doing that great. They have lost both New York and Philadelphia. They're, though they are close to Philadelphia again. They've lost probably quite a bit. Let's see. Oh, not not these guys. This guys. Yeah, though they've killed more than they've lost. So there's that. But America has a lot more troops. That's to be expected. Austrian Montenegrin War. Yeah. Ooh. Remembering the death of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. Today we remember the death of the greatest social revolutionary the world has ever seen, Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. His contribution to the cause will never be forgotten. Memorial services are being held all over the Soviet states, as well as uh, in major cities, in other socialist states, where millions of workers pay respect to the father of all socialist states. Yeah. Montenegro actually got pushed back, and that's bad, because I don't think they'll survive now. Poor guy, poor, poor king. Yeah, look at this guy. He screams confidence. He's like Stalin, but better. He's not gonna kill people. He's Stalin, but he's not gonna kill people. There we go. Establish the autonomies. Let's get Russian education because education is quite important in Korean. Uh, in my opinion. We can go and select. Mm. Let's go for industrial manufacture. Because that's going to give us the construction speed. Which we desperately need. And let's go for. Generic arms. Which is going to give us better soft attack. And l help look at how many rifles we're producing now. It's It brings a tear to my eye. We've, we've 
we've built our country from scratch. Montenegro killed a lot of Austrians, I have to give them that. But yeah, Mihail Frunze is just an amazing guy all around, in my opinion. The clergy criticizes the government. A number of priests have voiced their disagreement with our policy of secular and modern state. Even though this fact is of little importance, we must keep in mind that religion pays a huge role. Oh well. Our popularity is rising. Great. Well, do what do you want, priests? I've given a secular state. I could have purged you, but I didn't want to. And I'm not giving you the whole state because I'm not a theist. I'm not a theist, and I don't believe that everything is ruled by one single person in the sky, which we don't even see exist. I mean, there are people that believe in that, and that's perfectly fine, but no. Village Collective reports production surplus. Splendid! Freaking splendid. See? Socialism. You cannot beat it. It's like progress. The, the main issue is the lack of progress brings socialism down. This is not communism. This is radical socialism. Oh, never mind. Like, oh, Frunze just took care of... Okay. Okay, never mind. Right, what's the French opinion of us? They like us. But we're a different ideology, apparently. Apparently, <clears throat> The Italians, they don't really like us that much. Mm, the British like us, though. The British like us. This dame likes us. I'm glad this dame likes us. It's always ni nice to have a dame like us. Alright, these guys are perfectly prepared. Uh, so we should probably start building more divisions. Let's build like uh, five should be enough for now. Mass for the motherland. Despite our secular politics, there are still some religious r religious elements within the country that wish well for its future. No matter who is in charge of the government. Yesterday, a small mass was dedicated to the oh mass. Okay, was dedicated to prosperity of the motherland. Nice. Alright, so some religions are actually in favor of us, of our regime. That's good. It's good, I like that. I like that very much. See, that's how a country should work. Religion should be helping the country, not... Not, uh, fighting it. Montenegro is gonna fall. I'm sad. Yeah, the combined syndicates are gonna fall as well, it seems. Russian education... Right, let's go. Frunze is genius. That's going to give us some doctrine expertise. Let's actually start the doctrine. Now, <clears throat> I'm thinking of going the battle doctrine like Russia usually does. And we're going to go for that. Soon we will be declaring war on Don Kuban. Syndicalists are definitely being pushed back. They've lost Columbus. They've lost Indianapolis. Uh, they still have Chicago and Detroit and uh, Milwaukee, but... Mm. Stop. Alright, we can get PPHRs. Let's go for this. This 5 is a fucking cannon. This is bullshit. This is a gas truck. This is not a this 5 this is not... Uh, this 5 is... This. No. This is a this 5. Okay? This is a this 5. Oh, I like how they name... And there you have the this freight. Um, I like how they named these. It's nice. They changed the tanks? No, it's much the same. Yeah, it's much the same. Aircraft? It's much the same again. Alright. Well, they've named the anti-tanks. That's good. Oh, they've retained Columbus. Okay. Maybe there's still a chance. Oh, the American Union state is failing, though. They've been split into two. And Montenegro is annexed. Yeah. 
Sad face. Now, one target that I definitely want to go after is the Ottoman Empire. That's some. That's a country that I really wish to take care of and just liberate all of these countries here. But yeah, this is it for this episode. Oh, as I paused, the Austrians have declared war on Iron Guard. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.